Hi everyone, welcome to Easy Surveys, uh, your number one channel where we make survey practices easier for everyone. So, welcome to our first project which is on topographic surveying. So, in this video, we are going to be hashtagging it as series one, which is hashtag one. So we are going to show you on how to run script and create a different um, layer properties on AutoCAD so that we can easily work with it on our software to easily get our topographic map. So um, from our basic understanding of topographic surveying is just a map depicting contours and uh, features on it. It is basically used by engineers okay, and um, they use it for different kind of purpose for drainage, mapping and some other construction facilities. So we are just going to show you here on how to run script from Excel. So if you check here, this is uh, the set of data. Here is the ID, which is the ID point. We have BDP1, which is the boundary point 1, point 2, point 3, two, 6. So other uh, points are there, which is uh, features, which is the road. So there are coordinates picked from sites with our um, GNSS which is the differential GPS so with the height to some extent so if we stroke, scroll down we are going to see the spot height we took the spot height as well all right so we are just going to start from the first layer which is the boundary point so we want to show us on how to run scripts okay for our boundary point so here we go so for you to run your script you can just make one of the column on your excel sheets to be wider okay then you click on the first column let it tally with the first id point you have on your excel sheet so the next thing to click on is your equals on your kiwi board all right then your equals then you are going to press shift okay plus the double column okay on top like this all right so you are going to now type text okay so when you type step test you are going to click on the space bar on your keyboard space okay and then another double column okay on top so when you are done with that all you have to do is to click on shift plus seven on your keyboard which is going to be and so shift and that is we need and to be on that so we are going to do two and all right so it is now going to be and and okay which is two then we are going to close that and by another double uh, column at the top right so all we have to do next is to do a comma okay then the next thing is another double column on top then and and okay the another double column all right with a space this time around in between okay then we do another double column all right then and and okay then another double column closing that all right so we are going to click on space okay then another double column on top then another and and then another and Okay, then we click on space. So we are going to be doing, we need uh, um, four or uh, five sets of ants. That is uh, a code for our running of script. So this is one, two, three, four. So this is going to be the last one. So it's now going to be a column. All right, okay, then and and then double column. So that is how to close it. When you get your last um code you are going to close it with a double um, columns all right so here in the first hand you click in between them then you click on the column of your first instance here all right so when you click in between here you click on the column of the first instance okay so the next thing you click on in between the next and okay you can see it's in between then you click on the nothings all right then here you click in between all right then you put the test site so this particular video we are going to be using 4.2 okay for the test size all right that is what should be in the 
third um, and in between the third and so we are going to click on the next fourth one which is now going to be the uh, rotation angle so we are going to be using 90 okay which is 90 degrees so you don't need to put degree just put 90 it's going to read it as an angle so the fifth and now is going to be our id all right so we are going to click on the id all right so we are now done with inputting the code so if you don't get it just rewind the video and watch it over over again to get it then we are now going to click on enter on our keyboard so here we are just going to click on this then you drag this down to the last boundary so in the course of this video we are going to add the road right we are going to add the road so we have from road 1 to road 12 okay so we are now going to stop here so as you can see road 1 to road 12 so this is how it's going to bring out everything so the next thing to do is to right click then you copy all right when you copy you don't need to close your tab all you have to do is to minimize so when you minimize we are going to minimize this all right as well okay then you go to your notepad here i have my notepad okay so i'm opening it up all you have to do is to right click then you paste so it's going to appear this way so when it appears this way you go to file then you click on save as okay so here save as then here you click on all files all right so here i'm going to name it youtube okay youtube so youtube all right then you put dots okay scr so that is the format okay this is our boundary dot scr don't forget dot scr in small letter okay then you click on save remember to know the file directory where you want it to be so let me turn this file directory to here on this folder so we are going to find that in desktop youtube so we are just going to click on save so it has saved then make sure you cancel this youtube notepad here then you now come to your autocad okay so therefore when you are on autocad remember we have done um, a particular video on how to set up units so that is the first thing you have to do on autocad if you are going to work on anything surveying all right so you are going to set up your drawing units this is going to be on decimal this is going to be on 0, 0.00 precision okay based on length okay then here is going to be on meters for your angle it's going to be degree minutes and seconds then the precision how you want the autocad to approximate the angle is going to be zero degree then minutes we do not need seconds on um, plans okay on survey plans then you check the clockwise um, boss here then you can click on direction to see other properties before you click on okay so this has been set up so if you are just joining us and you do not know how to set up drawing units please refer back to our video on how to set up units on autocad you are going to find that very helpful so here we click on okay so we are going to create layer properties for what we want to work on Okay, in this aspect of this project which is topographic surveying so here we are going to be creating new layers for I think three uh, four to five different kind of stuff so here depending on what you want to to depict on your map so here we are going to right click then we are going to click on new layer okay so on the new layer we are going to be having test okay so let me make that capital test okay that's the first layer properties so we are going to be clicking on this again and press on new layer again so next layer should be boundary so i'm just going to call this to shorten it bp all right this is boundary points okay so the next layer another new layer we are going to be creating for details so i'll call this dtl details which are the buildings and etc okay so we are going to create another new layer for contours okay we are going to be needing our contours to be shown on the topographic map so we are going to create another layer 
all right which is going to be pillars which is our pillar for our beacons okay so another layer which is now going to be so that will now be um legend okay so on topographic map there is a legend that is why it is called a map so that is the layers we are going to be creating for the course of this video so now we want to we've run a script so we want to show it so that is going to be on test so please i want us to take note if you want to work on a particular layer make sure you activate it you activate it by right clicking on it and you are going to click on set correct so you will see a green mark on it so that is saying that you are working on this layer so make sure that the layer you are working on should be what you want to uh, work on on your um, autocad work environment all right i hope we get that right so we are going to cancel that um, space then we are going to run the script you can easily come here to manage to run scripts okay then you can navigate to the particular folder all right so we are going to navigate to the folder where we have our um, script run so it is on youtube and here you can see youtube SEO so script so you can now click on open so when you click on open there is no cause for alarm if you cannot find it shown so all you have to do is to come here if you are working with autocad 2021 you will see zoom extent all right you click on it or you can go to your keyboard then you click on z then you click on enter then you click on e then you click on enter all right so it's going to bring out the uh, points for you and these are our points so basically that is how to run script and to create layer properties on autocad in our next series we are going to show you on how to join these points okay and um, form a boundary then label it thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and invite others by sharing the video see you next